All right, guys, how's it going? Now, listen to me, right? Listen, you know at the moment I'm changing my computers around and changing webcams and things like that to try and get this shit working properly. Well, on the video you're about to see, I hadn't changed things around yet, and that video actually hung. So what that means is it was recording and then it stuck on the cum face. And uh, that's exactly my point as to why um you know i haven't been making a lot of videos recently and why i needed this new equipment all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm not gonna scrap that video because uh i thought it was a decent video so what i'll do is at the bit where it like that i'll just put a logo over it or something okay and the audio will still be there does that make sense so the video you're about to see i recorded a little bit earlier uh, but it didn't work. It didn't. It, it, it went wrong. So as you know, I'm trying to get all this shit right for you guys. All right. So it's very frustrating. And normally I would have been that video. Now I'm going. Do you know what? Fuck it. I'm not doing any. Uh, but I'm trying to get it all right. So I'm having to move. Oh, you, you don't need to know all this, right? I'm just getting really stressed. Um, <clears throat> so the next video you see uh, is the video I recorded for you a short while earlier. Um, so and when it just when I put a logo on or something, it's just the audio. All right, you'll be able to work it out. All right, uh, www.coptalk.tv. Please to uh, to make Coptalk TV great again. Mm. I'm doing my modelling. So I'm sick of this shit on here as well. What's this here? Look, that's because I've been carrying computers from one room to the other. And fucking, uh, it's half past twelve. I'm way behind. Right, I'll speak to you in a minute or so, or whatever. I don't know what's happening. All right, guys, how's it going? It is Monday, the 17th of October, 2022, and you're watching CopTalk.tv. All right. Want to give a shout out to Thomas South. Yeah, some of you will know Thomas. He uh, often joins in on the live streams on CopTalk.tv. Uh, thanks, Thomas. He uh, contributed to my Make CopTalk TV Great Again project. Uh, which if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to www.coptalk.tv and it's explanatory on there. Uh, or read the video description below. Thomas, your name should be in the video description below. Go and have a look, my friend. And it will be there throughout 2023. That's right. So, obviously, uh, yesterday we had the, uh, the, you know, the great result against Manchester City. But we also had uh, the worrying uh, situation with Jota. Uh, and uh, and you know his potential uh, serious injury, which at the time of recording, um, I can't tell you anything more about it. And obviously, he left the game uh, on a stretcher. Um, after, oh, I can't stop burping. All of, I'm only drinking coffee. Every time I start recording a video, uh, it doesn't matter. Um, imagine living with me. So, uh, what was I saying? Yes. Yeah, so he was took off on a stretcher yesterday. Obviously. Uh, late in that game, and afterwards, uh, Jurgen said, "You know, if he if he if he goes down, you know, if he stays down, sorry, stays down, uh, it is not good." Uh, which obviously it isn't. Now he's having a scan today, so right now at the time of recording, he should be uh, having that checked out. But there are obviously, you know, there's fears uh, that he suffered a serious injury uh, to his right calf, uh, you know, and that obviously would, uh, you know or could, uh, you know, uh, damage his chances uh, of being at the World Cup. You know, they're already saying that that looks like it's in doubt. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys really aren't bothered about that. You're more bothered about his, uh, you know, his um, availability for Liverpool Football Club. I was on the Premier League uh, website earlier, premierleague.com, and uh, I was looking at some of his stats, and, you know, like 40 goals in 125 appearances uh, with us, 64 wins, uh, and 25 defeats so goals per match is 0.32 seven headed goals 18 with his right foot 15 with his left zero penalties 266 shots yeah 266 shots this is all in his premier league uh, all seasons uh, and 110 uh, on target which gives him shooting accuracy of 41% where well, he needs to up his fucking game as far as I'm concerned he's hit the woodwork six uh, times and big chances missed 43 uh, now his team contribution it says 11 assists 2816 passes well I, you know, I, I, I want to see all these passes and make sure that figures right 22.53 passes per game 
Uh, big chances created 23, it crosses 116. And obviously it goes right through into, you know, into the amount of tackles you know, in the Premier League. 117 block shots, interceptions, clearances, headed clearances. It looks like he's doing his defensive duties as well, according to these stats. I'm not a stats man. Normally when it's stats, I just think about stats on a woman. You're not on a, on a woman, you know, like... like 34 to me. You know what I'm saying, guys? You know what I'm saying? Uh, they're the only stats I'm really interested in, to be honest. Uh, I'm not really, uh, you know, this is the first, I think this is the first time I've ever been on PremierLeague.com and looked at a player's statistics, but I'm trying to put some effort in and make new videos for you. Discipline, yellow cards 21, no red cards uh, in the Premier League, fouls 153. So I was just looking at, and then I had a look at this season so far, uh, zero goals. Uh, for appearances, um, he's a very good player, uh, and this is not what we uh, want to uh, to have happening to us at the moment because we've got you know various injury problems as it is. And yes, we won a game yesterday, but you know, we just we won a game yesterday, and you know when you look at the Premier League table, uh, which I don't have here in front of me, but I will uh, get that up now. Um, it's not great, is it? We were discussing this. I went live on here after the game last night. So we're uh, eighth. 13 points we've got, guys, uh, from nine games, uh, which puts us a staggering 14 points behind leaders Arsenal and 10 points behind Man City. Now, I really hope that them points we took off Man City yesterday come back to haunt them later in the season because I don't like Man City, guys. I've got to be honest. I've never had a problem with Man City before. And it's not because of the way that they act, uh, you know, uh, carry out their business in the transfer market. Obvious, obviously, I wish that we had, you know, those kind of owners, if you like. Uh, but maybe not so, um, maybe not so much like that, if that makes sense. I wish we had a bit more ambition, but I don't think that, you know, that I, I need necessarily to see huge, huge, like ridiculous spending or whatever. Uh, I just wish we had a bit more, but that's, we're saving that for the tripod, right? Um, but the reason I've, I've gone off Man City is Pep Guardiola. I don't like him. I've got to be honest with you. I don't like him. Now I know that maybe you know maybe some of you don't understand that. You know, I I, I just don't like him. I don't. He, he's just. I don't like. Oh, maybe don't likes a bit. You know, a bit mean. Because I, I, there's not really bad. Well, yeah. yeah. Right, listen, I didn't like Sir Alex Ferguson either because he managed our rivals, right? But I was more, or I am more uh, respectful towards him, you know, because I can see what he did and how he turned that club around. And I just think that Pepe's just fucking hyped up, man. You know, give me all that money. I bet I could do it. It's just as fucking good, I'm telling you. But you know what I mean, don't you? There's some managers like, you know... Uh, that you have time for and some you don't and Pep I don't know it's just I just find him fucking annoying yeah sometimes you know he, he can come across as very respectful and stuff like that I don't dislike I mean it's just I've dug an hole for me so I know what you're thinking it'd be a big hole but um I just don't get the hype around him that's all I, I, whereas with Sir Alex Ferguson I can say yeah justify it's people talking about him being a better manager than Sir Alex Ferguson I mean come on guys I'm not having that anyway we're going way off there so like City of like I wouldn't class them as our rivals, although I guess you would class them as a rival, wouldn't you, as a modern-day rival, because that's who we've been competing with, you know, or against in the Premier League. Um, you know, for me, Manchester United remain, you know, our rivals, as do Everton, even though there's, that's quite funny, but you know what I mean. Um, Man City, I guess, you know. What I'm trying to say here is I'd rather Arsenal win the league than Man City, right? Preferably, I'd rather Tottenham win the league uh, than any of those... Uh, I don't want. I want Liverpool to win the league, but we're not going to win the league. I've just gone off Man City. I remember many, many years ago. My my uncle, like he's an ardent Leeds United supporter, and uh, you know he was caught up in all that, you know, only, you know, bad things football to do with. You know, he was a young lad in the eighties and seventies and stuff like that. You know, he was hardcore Leeds. You know what I mean? And um, he obviously despises Manchester United. And when I was growing up as a young lad. You know, he would refer to Manchester United as scum, right? He'd be like this, scum, 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 which is fine. And um, I remember being in his company once. I'd probably be about 10 years old, maybe something like that. Maybe 11, 10, 11, something like that. And um, Man City were on television, you know, back in the day, 
probably was it called the match back then on ITV or something like that I can't remember football wasn't shown a lot back then to be honest live and um I remember saying oh look it's scum too Jeff you know my uncle's called Jeff it's scum too anyway whoa he went Man City and not scum and I was like oh right okay you know you know when you're learning when you're a when you're a young lad like football fan I was like all right and he was like no 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 they're not scum it's a good club you know and um I just uh, I just them Man City fans who get on right on my tits is what I'm trying to say the manager gets on my tits the fans get on my tits uh, but I don't dislike the club. I think it's more Pep. He just gets right on. I'm sick of hearing Pep. Uh, anyway, what am I talking about? I can't remember what I'm talking about. Jota. Yeah, so uh, Jota would be a big, uh, you know, losing him would be a big blow. Obviously, by the time you watch this video, you can, con you know, contribute in the comments. It's probably confirmed what his injury uh, status is. I'm recording this in the morning on Monday. Uh, and there is no uh, news yet. So we'll be going through that scan around now, I imagine. Uh, one thing I will say uh, about, uh, one thing, I don't know if you know this uh, about Jota. Uh, where is it? I've lost his details now. Uh, he is represented by Jestifute, which is uh, an agency that you know we've, we've talked about many, many times, especially on the members' website. Liverpool have a good relations with that agency www.gestifute.com that's G-E-S-T-I-F-U-T-E -E. uh, and sometimes it's just good to have uh, you know uh, a look at what players uh, these agencies represent so I'm absolutely telling you about the, the excellent uh, relationship that we have with Gestifute so if you if you look down their list of clients for example uh, you know Darwin Nunes uh, Jota uh, I think Fabino should be on here somewhere as well yeah Fabino uh, Mateus Nunes, all right, uh, which is a, a name that's been uh, mentioned with us previously. Um, Pedro Neto. Now, this is, you know, I don't know if there's anything been um, mentioned about Pedro Neto for a while uh, in the news. Let's have a look. Uh, I haven't got my VPN on and I'm overseas, so I'm getting all these coming up in, uh, in, in Spanish, unfortunately. Um, See, this is here. Neto to miss World Cup after Wolves forward damages ankle ligaments. I can click on that one there. Uh, Petro Neto is one of those, uh, you know, I, I, I think Liverpool, uh, Boss Jurgen Klopp wanted him at Anfield within, you know, the last couple of seasons or something. Like, I can't remember the times thing. I don't know if I'm just getting old and using the COVID thing as an excuse. But when football got suspended, you know, when because of the, the pandemic, uh, I lost all, like, you know, time, like, was that three seasons ago? For, and all that, and I, I don't know, maybe it's just, I'm nearly 50, guys, you know what I'm saying? Years, not stone, although the way things are going, I'm fucking putting weight back on again. Got to stop that. Um, no, 48, last month, but, um, and I was, I was about 23 when I started going, so I'm fucking hell. Um, anyway, Pet sorry, yeah, Pedro Neto. Uh, I think that's just a, a, a player that, I would keep an eye on his, uh, on, on, his uh, on him. Obviously, if he's injured, it doesn't really make a difference. Uh, he's 22 uh, years of age now. And I just, I don't know. I just thought he was one of them players that would end up at Liverpool. We spoke about it many times before. This video is not about Pedro Neto, but he is represented by that by that agency. And if you, if you think about what I'm saying here, uh, you know, we have done business, you know, we've had Liverpool players with that agency and then gone on to buy other players that are represented by them, etc., etc. So me personally, I keep an eye on that agency, who they represent, who they're talking to, what the whispers are in the media, uh, because sometimes you can piece things together, is what I'm saying. So the just a few agency, I'm going off here a little bit, it's just something that I would, if I was you, just every now and then, just keep an eye on who they represent. Uh, because when we when we're linked with a player, all right. When we're linked with a player, the first thing I do uh, when you start investigating as to whether there may be some truth in the claims is I look to see who the agency is, and you can be you know with a certain agency and go that ain't going to happen. Fucking Liverpool ain't that knob, you know, or something like that. Um, and when it's just a few, I always think, oh, that's interesting. And this has happened many many times before. Now, obviously, if people you know are chatting about this in you know that you trust as well, and you get you know, two two of them people, maybe three. I like to get three. 
that are not associated to each other and they say oh by the way don't it sounds like there might be something in that then you look at the agency and you go it's just a few and you think that's gonna fucking happen get some money on it and we'll be quids in you know uh so anyway listen i'm all over the place with this video uh jota let me know your thoughts on him as a player what you think you know life without him if we lose him for a bit are you bothered about him like not being at the world cup i mean this world cup what's your thoughts on the world cup guys i love the world cup Right, I don't like international football. I've got to be honest with you. It sounds a bit contradictory, but I'm still a football fan. So this this other competition is UEFA Nations League or something. Is it called? Not watched a game in it ever, and I never will. Uh, European Championship, you know, the Euros, sorry, uh, World Cup finals. Those two competitions. That's what I like. I like to watch them. I love the World Cup, but I don't like the World Cup being in this, you know, winter or something. I don't fancy that to be honest. The reason why, more so than anything, is the World Cup for me, or the Euros even, you know, when the, when the season's finishing, you think, oh, well, there's no football now for ages. And then you've got a major tournament. It's 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 minting it, you know, and you can maybe sit outside the booze or have a few drinks, watch the, you know, just winter, World Cup. And we're not even getting into that, you know, the, the politics of where it's being hosted. So, and maybe you maybe you really don't give a shit if he's uh, going to miss the World Cup or not. Personally, I like to see our players involved in these tournaments. I think for you to have... Uh, the you know for them to play the best football for your club you know your club club is Rafa would say club uh, you know you you want them to play on the top stage at the international stage against the best players in the world and that makes them a better player obviously the risks of that are injuries and whatnot uh, and we don't want that so anyway I, I know it's not a very good video uh, but I just wanted to speak about Jota already it is a bit of a concern after uh, you know after a bit of a high yesterday beating them fuckers. Um, mm. All right then. Uh, I'm just trying to get into you know producing more video content and and getting into a back into a, into a decent rhythm. You know what I'm saying, guys. All right. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, thanks to those of you that uh, channel members. I do appreciate that. You can join the channel at any time or or support uh, my little crowdfunder that I've got going in a minute. Uh, which you can do either of those things via www.coptalk.tv. Uh, and if you do step up and support. Uh, make Cop Talk TV great again, uh, then I'll be giving you a shout out in the next video. That is for sure. And putting your name in the video description like Thomas is. All right, guys, thanks very much. Speak to you real soon. Uh,